Heavy rains continue to pound much of central and eastern Kentucky. I'm tracking the flood threat just ahead. The search continues for a dog running scared in Frankfurt after escaping from a shelter. He's one of more than 150 dogs seized from a property in Laurel County. An unusual reason for a traffic backup on New Circle Road. How the demand for chicken is leaving many drivers with a long wait. This is WKYT News at 430. Good afternoon. Yet another round of rain making its way right through Kentucky. It is the latest in several lines of showers drenching the bluegrass. Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey is in the First Alert Weather Center with a look at just how long it's going to be sticking around. Chris? Yeah, we're going to go through the evening with these waves of heavy rain blasting much of central and eastern Kentucky. If you're in a low lying or flood prone area, you've had some flooding over the past several days, at least on and off. I think you've got another round to go through at some point before the evening is over. Hopefully, it's just the minor nuisance flooding. We're going to have to keep an eye on it. It is a wet view right now of Hamburg Pavilion. Got a little bit of standing water out in front of the station. That's kind of one of the metrics that I use to judge how hard it is raining. Defender Radar Network now showing the waves of heavy rain working in from west to east throughout central and eastern Kentucky. That initial batch of rain, by the way, is trucking it eastbound toward the Moorhead area. Had some high water uh, issues last night in the parts of Harrison County, getting a few more of those in the next few hours. In all likelihood, as this band of heavy rain that's across the metro begins to lift its way on through town. Heaviest rain, by the way, right now, Lexington is on the southern part of Fayette County and back toward the west for Sales Road up into the Leestown uh, Road area. And also, once you get toward Nicholasville, Harrodsburg and points south from there. Boy, it is really coming down and it only gets heavier from Columbia back over to Bardstown and Etown. That's where we've got some very gusty winds that could crank up 30 to 40 miles an hour. Through 2 o'clock in the morning, it's mainly high winds and heavy rain with that flood threat. Now, the actual severe weather threat is pretty low uh, with all this. But again, high winds are greater than 40 miles per hour. The potential for more high water issues with the rains out there this evening that can drop another one to two inches across much of central and eastern Kentucky. Guys, the ground is just saturated. We've had better than four to six inches of rain over the past week. It can't hold very much more. So even totals that are under an inch can cause some local high water issues, and we'll continue to watch it. Chris, thank you. And as more rain moves through the area, people in flood prone communities are keeping a closer eye on the high water. It's our top story at 4:30. The Licking River is rising in downtown Cynthiana. It is still below flood stage. However, we found water in River Road Ballpark. And with all of the rain moving through, the National Weather Service expects the river to crest sometime tomorrow. The Licking River is also rising in Nicholas County. Judge Executive Mike Pryor says the flooding should pose no danger to people living nearby. However, they are urging caution for people because the water could cover some roads. People are recovering from a deadly outbreak of storms and tornadoes in Texas, where the death toll may rise. Nine twisters touched down in the Dallas area, killing at least 11 people. Eight of the reported deaths happened in the North Dallas suburb of Garland. The National Weather Service now says it was hit by an EF4 tornado. That sound, I, I just can't get that sound out of my head. I have no heat, no electricity. And there's no word yet on whether anyone from central Kentucky will be heading to Texas to try and help. And today's rainy weather slowing down the search for a missing dog. He was rescued from a southern Kentucky home. Harvey was brought to Frankfort after being found in a hoarding case out of Laurel County. Our Hillary Thornton has the latest on the search for Harvey. The good news is little Harvey has been spotted several times since taking off from here at Lifehouse for Animals. Unfortunately, the rescuers say each time he is found, he takes off running. He's been through a lot of changes lately. You know, he, his world has turned upside down. He doesn't understand or have any idea what's going on. Harvey is one of more than 150 dogs taken by police from the property of the director for homeward bound animal rescue in Laurel County. On Saturday, he was rescued from the makeshift shelter for all of those dogs, then at his new place to stay in Frankfurt for only a few hours. Harvey got away. He got outside. He just got in panic mode and did a Houdini act where he just kind of backed out, flipped out of his harness and, and in his state of mind, <laughs> just took off. Volunteers now continue searching more than a day later while food sits outside the door of Lifehouse and hopes Harvey will find his way back. 
They say thankfully he has been spotted close to the shelter. Harvey's kennelmate Ruggle is also aiding in the search. Going on walks in the area, another effort to try and ease the dog who they believe is hiding back into safety. If you do see Harvey, rescuers ask that you not chase him, but keep a close eye on him and possibly try to contain him to that particular area. Then contact Lifehouse immediately and they'll come out and help. In Frankfurt, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. Also, the people uh, setting up and searching for uh, Harvey are setting up trail cameras around the shelter to see if they can find any pattern of his activity and where Harvey is hiding. If you have a trail cam that you can, they can use, you're asked to contact the shelter. The man charged in a crash that killed four people and an unborn child in southern Kentucky faced a judge this morning. Jason Gibson pled not guilty to four counts of murder, fetal homicide, wanton endangerment, DUI, and reckless driving. Police say Gibson was driving under the influence when his car crossed the center line and hit another car along the Hal Rogers Parkway in Clay County. Judy Pennington Adams, her pregnant granddaughter Tiffany, Tiffany's young son Kyson, and a family friend Charlene Lewis were all killed. A new Kentucky law will give emergency protection to someone in a dating relationship. The law takes effect January 1st. In the past, emergency protective orders could only be issued for married couples, couples that live together, or if a couple has a child in common. Now, the new Interpersonal Protective Orders, or IPOs, will cover people who are in a dating relationship. Is it situational? Domestic violence does not discriminate. It doesn't care if you're married or have a child in common. Tonight at 6, what this new law means for Kentucky judges and why it took close to a decade to make it a law. Well, the mayor of St. Matthews near Louisville is speaking out after a chaotic holiday weekend at the mall at St. Matthews. That mayor says that social media and boredom are to blame. The mall closed early Saturday night after police say as many as 2,000 juveniles showed up disturbing shoppers. Police and mall management will meet this week to try and discuss policies that can prevent another major disruption. Well, this next story it is causing quite a scene. The return of a popular food chain to Lexington is getting a big response. Look out. Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen is now open for business. The restaurant started serving customers yesterday morning at the corner of New Circle Road and Old Parish Road. And since then, business, to say the least, has been booming, even causing traffic backups on New Circle Road. At one point, the owner says there were about 100 cars in the line for drive through and if you wanted the chicken, red beans, and rice, well, it was a two-hour wait. It just got a fan base, and, and understand me so, that the, the chicken, and most people will tell you, is probably the best. It is ranked probably the best chicken in the country. So. A man says he wants to open more Popeye's restaurants throughout Lexington. Mm -hmm. One Lexington man's reaction to the return of Popeye's is going viral. Woo! And they already been excited all up for me. He is on his way. David Wallace posted this video yesterday morning sharing his excitement over the newly opened restaurant. Since then, it's been shared more than 1,000 times and viewed more than 68,000 times. He's also posted a video of him finally getting his Popeye's chicken, and that video is also getting quite the response on Facebook. He loves his Popeye's. Yeah, he must. <laughs> he loves it. All right. Snowstorm. Relentless snowstorms, deadly floods, and a powerful Category 5 hurricane all made weather headlines this year. And as Karen Kafer reports, it took less than a month for 2015 to make the record books. It's only been 14 days, folks, and we've gotten 70 to 80 inches of snow. That was just the beginning for parts of New England. Nearly every week for three months straight, snowstorms blanketed streets, buried cars, and strained people's patience. Everybody's just fed up. Boston had its snowiest season on record with 110.6 inches. It all finally melted in July. Inside! I gotta get Inside! In the spring, several large tornadoes raked across Texas. It just like a jet engine above, right above your head. Two people were killed in May after an EF3 tornado ravaged the city of Van. Then came the flooding. Days of heavy rain caused the Blanco River to reach historic deadly crests in Wimberley and San Marcos, Texas. Several homes were swept off their foundations. A house just went by with the river, and there was a person in it with a spotlight. 
Laura McComb, her husband, and their two children were inside that house. And you said it's in your second floor? It's coming up to the second floor. I mean, it's, it's, it's so high up. McComb's husband is the only one who survived. At least 23 people died in the May floods. And in South Carolina, this will be um, a historic rainfall event that we have never seen before. Relentless rain in October shattered records in Charleston and Columbia. Some places saw as much as 20 inches of rain. The historic flooding shut down more than 500 roads and bridges. It caused at least 11 dams to fail, prompted hundreds of water rescues, and killed at least 17 people. Hurricane Patricia howled into the record books in October as the strongest hurricane ever. In just 24 hours, Patricia went from a tropical storm to a 200 mile per hour category 5 hurricane. The storm weakened before making landfall along Mexico's west coast. I'm Karen Kefa reporting. A big celebration is planned in downtown Lexington to welcome in the new year. It is at the Grand Reserve, and you're invited to come take part. Deanne Stevens joins us downtown with a preview. Hey, Deanne. Hey, good afternoon, guys. We are preparing for the masquerade ball that is happening here Thursday night. The cool part is you're getting a sneak peek of this brand new area. This is called the Speakeasy, part of three different venues taking part in this big New Year's Eve celebration. Kelly Baycorn is with us, the Grand Reserve, Barrel House, and now this space is fabulous. It's a new space. It's still working the kinks out, but we're really excited um, to extend the Grand Reserve into the Speakeasy. Bigger, better, gosh. And beautiful. Beautiful. Who did the decorating here is what I want to know. You know, we do it all around here. Wow, it <laughs> looks great. It really does. Preparing for a big party this weekend. Tell us what we're mixing up here because this is a special drink that's going to be served. This is called the Pink Masquerade Ball Drink. What we're going to do, um, we have sponsorship from Four Roses and from Menage a Trois Vodka. Uh, we're going to make up a little something fun for us. Okay, let's throw it together. A little bit. What are of you citrus, putting in there? Citrus vodka. Okay. And yeah, I love how you say just a little bit of this and that. Well, a little bit of this and that. <laughs> makes, makes it good. And then something that we all love, pink lemonade. Pink lemonade, okay. Do a little shake. Two uh, things in this? Two things? Yes. That's it? That's, That's it. easy enough? Easy enough. We're going to keep it simple. Whoop. I'm going to have a little ice with mine. <laughs> Perfect for a masquerade ball, right? And then, a little bit of fun. A little what, are, what are these? Those are Dry fabulous. How much fun. How much fun all, all of these are going to be here for the party Thursday night. Great food going to be served and music too. Bluegrass Catering is doing all our food. Um, and uh, like I say, two bands, one DJ. Open bar. Open bar. Part Can't of the money going to? Money. Autism uh, Charities of the Bluegrass. Fantastic. So how do folks get tickets? Eventbrite.com. Keyword Grand Reserve, Masquerade. Masquerade Ball. So cheers, cheers. to a happy new year. Happy new can year. I drink this? Yes, you can. Okay, that's fun and tasty. <laughs> Get your tickets now for the Masquerade Ball happening here for New Year's. I'm Deanne Stevens out and about. Cheers. Just days away. It is. New year. Here it comes. Well, Christmas was kind to the box office, and Stephen Colbert talks Donald Trump. Chris Martinez has today's eye on entertainment. Star Wars continued its march across the world, making its red carpet premiere in China Sunday. We're home. The Force Awakens is shattering records around the globe, even though it has yet to open in China, the world's second largest movie market. The movie hit the $1 billion mark at the box office Sunday, making it the fastest movie to reach that milestone ever. The world doesn't owe you a thing. In its debut weekend, Joy, about the inventor of the Miracle Mop, finished in third, raking in $17.5 million at the box office. Late Show host Stephen Colbert appeared on CBS's Face the Nation Sunday to talk politics. He says he doesn't respect Donald Trump or his policies, but admires his ability to reach voters. There's a populism to Trump that I th is find very appealing, and it's only this, is that the party elders would like him to go away. But the people have decided that he's not going to. Colbert and other late-night comics have honed in on Trump this campaign season. 
And Judge Judy is moving on to a new home. CBS's most popular television judge bought a new lakefront mansion in Naples, Florida for almost $9 million and is selling a condo in the city that she bought in 2005 for nearly $7 million. The beachfront penthouse is listed at $11 million. That's your eye on entertainment. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Los Angeles. Janet Jackson is postponing her unbreakable world tour so she can have surgery. The five-time Grammy Award winner made the announcement on Facebook saying she has to have the procedure soon, so she's pushing the tour back until the spring. She didn't disclose what type of surgery she was having, but officials at the Lexington Center tell us Jackson is having surgery on her throat. Jackson said every date would be rescheduled and told fans to hold on to their tickets. The 2016 leg of the tour was scheduled to stop in Lexington on January. 30th. Coming up at 6, we have details on what you can do if you have a ticket and don't want to wait for that rescheduled date. Steve Harvey is poking fun at his Miss Universe blunder. The comedian and TV host posted this picture on Christmas Day with the caption, Merry Easter, y'all. Harvey recently made headlines after naming the wrong winner in the Miss Universe pageant. He has, though, been invited back to host the pageant next year. Hmm. It is raining again in many parts of Kentucky. And we even, are, and even when this round moves out, you can still expect to see more right behind it. Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey is keeping us alert on when we'll get a break from all this rain, Chris. I believe this is the eighth straight day it has rained in Lexington. That is crazy, to be honest with you. Uh, flush, uh, flood and flash flood watch. I'll get it out. We'd like to flush this stuff on out of here, right? That is in effect for all of central and western parts of Kentucky. Even if you're not in this watch, keep an eye out on the creeks and the streams here into eastern Kentucky. Look at the wall of water that is on the way across the region. Now, northeastern Kentucky, that first band is through uh, the Moorhead and Ashland areas across central Kentucky. Heavy rains up and down Interstate 75. Likely to be a slow go there. And look what's popping now between Louisville and Owensboro. Additional thunderstorms. That's a severe thunderstorm, although it's basically a severe shower. We're not getting any lightning with that, but it is strong enough to put down some very gusty winds, even a hint of rotation with that storm as it works its way uh, in through Ohio County up toward the Breckenridge County area as well. So those additional thunderstorms popping to the west of us will be into town later this evening. Many areas will have to keep an eye on the creeks and streams for at least the next four or five hours. All right, a giant squid and one lucky man who took the right flight at the right time. It's the video that will have you talking. Take a look at this. In Japan, a giant squid made its way to shallow coastal waters for all to see on Christmas Eve. This nearly 13-foot ocean creature normally chills out in deep water, but decided to make a rare appearance by a marina. Now, after posing for a diver and showing off, or whatever that is, it made its way back out to see. Magnificent. Did you know what you just won? All right. Imagine getting off a plane after a long flight and being greeted by this. Larry Kendrick from Biloxi, Mississippi is the 100th millionth passenger to travel through Hartsfield Jackson International Airport in Atlanta this year. Kendrick walked away with two free round trip tickets. Oh, and how about this? A new car. Well, I guess if he's not going to yeah. be flying very much, he can drive himself yeah, wherever he wants I'll to I'll step off a plane and get awarded that. I'll Pretty good, it. right? All right, much more to come now, including much more on this weather situation at 5 o'clock.